Man, I, I remember uh, I remember I was watching you, Kev. Every day, we were neighbors. And when I was coming out, working on the ice cream truck, I would see Kev working on his tricks and working on his moves. Man, I seen it, man. The dude bust his knee, bust his elbow, shoulder, wrist. But he never stops. I just knew he was gonna stop and give up. He never stopped, never, never, never stopped. And it's so cool to see how far he's, he, he, he's, he's come. I'd say just watching you as like a kid, like in the block, it's good to see your progression and like where your mindset is at in skating. Like that's what I like. Yeah, I don't even think, it's, it's just hard to explain. No one could really explain that unless they actually saw you, you know? And I mean, I just watched him go and just work on his technique and now man it's, it's night and day i really watched him go from night and day and really become a better skater overnight i did yeah scene happened. And you just see people walking across the street. Just like about to go to work or gonna go get some coffee, like just having a normal day and you're in this alleyway like trying to get over this gate with spikes on it. But this is actually like chest high. And then you gotta evade this motorcycle which is like arm's length basically. It's like a pretty tight spot. That hurt. <laughs> uh, no, not really. You just seemed like after the first fall, you seemed like you wanted nothing to do with the spot. So I was kind of surprised that you did go back two times because I didn't really know about that. A part of me knew you were going to go back just because of the kind of person you are. But also I thought realistically, maybe you might take a while to go back. You went back faster than I imagined. After that first slam, I knew, I knew I had to come back. I was really angry with myself, and it wasn't because I had just slammed on the fence, but because I knew that eventually I had to overcome that fear, come back, and I'll leave. Most people will give up when things get hard, when adversity comes against you. People will give up. It's the natural and the easiest thing to do. What's hard is developing that fight inside you to keep going no matter what the odds bring against you. Yeah, I remember you stuck in Ollie that day, but you kind of rolled your ankle at the same time and your trucks just sucked. You just had the wrong setup that day. Everything was just incorrect. I really wanted to roll away that day, but I knew it probably wasn't possible because I was wearing shorts. My trucks were kind of like bent backwards. So whenever I popped, I had to like lean a little more back, but I still tried it anyways. And I ended up hitting my head and rolling my ankle. Yeah, like it's something you knew you could have done. It's just looking at it and rolling up to it. It really tested your nerve, you know? But after that, I'm like, this spot is like low key kicking my ass right now, but it's not, it's not that hard. Like it's just getting over the fact that that gate is right there. And once I get over that, I can just float that Ollie like nothing. So after that second day, I felt a little bit more confident in myself to come back and try it. We went to grab some food and you were like, yo, I think I got this Ollie. Like, let me go sit in the car and like really think about it. And then you just left. Like, so I thought that was like, damn, that's what's up. He's gonna make it happen. First Mario. We good one? Yeah, we good. All right. I'm not leaving here in Thailand. Right here. First seat. 
that was so proper. You just hopped the fence, looked at it. I think you rolled up once and then you just went straight for it. And then that's how I knew. I was like, damn, he's gonna do it today. This is it. You okay, Mom? You good? Let's do it. Happy Kevin. Fuck yeah. Oh. You know, Kev, man, bro, you've been solid since the day I met you, bro. Because I watched you. I watched you practice. I watched you, you know what I mean, running up and down the street with, the, with braces on and everything. And I'm like, bro, like, sit down. And you're like, nah, I got to figure this out. And, and that, bro, that, that drive, that resilience, that character, Man, it's, it's, people don't have that. People just don't have that. It's easy to give up. You got that. Not believing you all the way, man. Straight up. <laughs>